There is no secret. There's nothing that someone's not telling you that's gonna get you to where you wanna be. You ready? Yeah. You need to do everything that you can do every single day to get where you wanna be no matter what. Come on. Good. Come on. What's up guys? So it's been almost a week probably since I filmed last. My schedule was super busy and stuff happens. So I'm gonna try as best as I can uh, to show you guys as much as I can, as often as I can. Uh, but right now I'm trying to get in a meal. Um, I have about 2000 calories in right now and it is, what time is it? It's 8.30 and I still have to get a gym session in as well. So I got some eating to do and I got some lifting to do. So that's gonna go down the rest of my night. That takes up pretty much the rest of it. So. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this in and then I am going to get to the gym. I got back and biceps, so it's a good workout that I'm excited for. Um, guys, a lot of this is repetition. Like, I feel like I've been filming the same stuff of prep, but I just wanna show you guys what I'm going through. Like, I'm not just necessarily trying to create like, um, like content for YouTube. And it's cool and fun to create content. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm more documenting my experience and me going through this to work towards my prep and uh, just showing you guys the journey. Uh, I wanna share it with you guys and show you what I go through. Hope you, hope you can find some uh, value or entertainment out of it. But um, yeah, guys, it just, a lot of this is just repetition, just eating and working hard and just doing everything I can to get where I wanna be, so. But I am gonna do some videos where I do different Q and A's and events and stuff like that, so. I'll try to keep it interesting, but I wanna show you guys what I do day to day because that is mostly what I do. So that's that, but uh, yeah, I'm just eating. So I have uh, two cups of rice, of white rice, Uncle Ben's, and then five ounces of chicken. So I had some of this earlier today and I didn't finish it, so I'm finishing it now. So some advice for bulking guys. I learned this some, from some other people that I follow, but when you're trying to bulk, you're eating a massive amount of food and a lot of times it's uncomfortable. It should be uncomfortable. So at least for me and especially for me, I get distracted easily when I'm eating. So if I'm watching TV or on my phone, that takes up a lot of my time and I often get sidetracked and I don't actually eat my meals in time and then they get cold and then they're not good. They don't taste as good. So for me, the best thing is to have no distractions, just eat. Don't worry about anything else. Don't look at your phone, your TV, anything like that. Just eat the food when you need to eat it and then be done with it. That's the best advice I can give um, that works for me. I think cutting's a different story probably. I haven't done an official cut for competition yet and that's up and coming, but I'm sure I will be hungry and very ready to eat when I am um, and when it is time to eat. So I think that's a different story, but from my experience with bulking, just eat. You don't focus on anything else. Yeah, and that's that's at least helped me a lot. So Alright guys, uh, a little bit after I got my food and sat down, I felt like crap. So I still don't feel great, but it's about four or five hours later. And uh, I still have a headache. Uh, I just don't feel well at all. I think it's because I took creatine and I did not monitor how much water I was drinking and I don't think I drank enough water. I think I'm dehydrated from that, but um, yeah, I just don't feel well. But nonetheless, um, I have to make a few errands. I have to get some food for the week. Uh, it's also my friend's birthday today, so I need to get her a present. I think I'm gonna go to Target for that. And then I'm also gonna try to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get food because I've actually eaten nothing today and it's 4.15, which is terrible. Dude. All right guys, next stop is done. Just got back from Target. So I ended up getting her, so I got her a card, a thank you card, or a thank you card. I ended up getting her a birthday card. Okay, so I also ended up getting her an Alexa. I couldn't decide between the color, so I just did white. I was supposed to work out today as well and train legs, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because I need to catch up. I, I'd rather eat than work out right now, and that's what I need to do. So I am starting to feel a little bit better. Um, sometimes when I'm dehydrated, the best thing to do is uh, to actually just drink water and get moving, even though I don't feel like moving, because when I lay in bed and just 
relax. I, a lot of times it just takes longer for me to feel better. So I got up and I started moving, starting to feel better. So that's always a good thing. But I think I'm gonna head home now. Um, see if my friends are ready to hang out. If not, then I'll tr probably go grocery shopping, but I'll keep you guys updated. All right. All right guys, so for this workout, I trained uh, back and biceps. Uh, so I started off with doing some high rows. I never used this machine before. If I have, I used it only like once or twice. I usually use one of the low row machines or one of the different machines um, on the other side of the gym. Um, but I tried to use this one this time just to switch it up and keep things fresh. There's a lot of different equipment for back at my gym, so I like to kind of utilize all of them uh, when I can and try different things. But for this one, I was mainly focusing on keeping the weight high and keeping the reps lower, but also maintaining form the whole time. Uh, while I do the exercise so I can get a full contraction in my back uh, while still training for mass and trying to get um, as much weight pulled as I can. Uh, so I did about two or three sets of these. This is my second set um, and then I moved on to a different exercise. But I wanted to start with this one mostly because I've never tried it before and I wanted to go heavy. So this was one of the machines I started with to go heavy. Um, usually when I do go heavy I like to whatever the machine is I like to start with it um, and then I kind of organize my uh, workouts accordingly based on how much weight I'm going to be pulling uh, for each one uh, so that's kind of how I usually organize my uh, workout routine but it all depends on a lot of different factors um, but next I did uh, pull downs lat pull downs with the uh, V grip so this one I actually love doing. I really feel this one in my back. Um, for lat pull downs, no matter what grip it is, I like to uh, really maintain form the entire time. I do start to swing towards the end of my uh, sets just because I'm fatigued and I want to get in those last couple sets uh, or those last couple reps. So maintaining form is important, but I do sway a little bit. But as long as my form isn't terrible, um, I usually try to get those last couple reps in. Um, but for these, I did about three sets uh, with this V grip, and then I moved on to doing different lat pull down uh, exercises just with different grips. But like I said, this is probably my favorite grip to use for the lat pull down. Um, I use the same V grip for doing seated rows as well a lot of times. Uh, I don't know if it's the grip or the position of the stance or whatever it is. One thing I have really been focusing on when training back is just hitting it from different angles using different machines and exercises and uh, techniques just because there's a lot of different muscles in the back and uh, making sure I develop all of them is very important um, and make sure, making sure that you engage all the muscles in your back when you are training back is important uh, just because like I said there's so many different parts of your back so many different muscles so um, it's a very important part uh, especially for posing just because it takes up like 50% of your posing because you're either uh, in the front or you're in the back like facing the back so uh, it's just really important but um, that is that. So then I moved on to doing bicep curls uh, just with dumbbells. I think I was using uh, 35s for these um, or 32 and a half or whatever they are. But for these, I was just kind of going for as many as I could. I never really count my bicep curls. I just go until I pretty much can't go anymore um, and then try to do a couple more. Um, but I cut my workout kind of short here because I needed to get home for something else. But I was happy that I at least got something in. Um, a lot of times, guys, it's just half the battle is just, just getting to the gym. So that was my plan, and I executed that accordingly. Uh, but it was a pretty good workout overall, so I was happy with it. Boom. Meal prep is going on for the week. Uh, two cups of brown rice for each container. I'm still in the process of making the rest of the rice. I'm also getting vegetables ready to also put in my meal prep containers. So I'm cooking uh, green beans. I'm going to put about probably a cup or so in each container. And then this is my second batch of brown rice that's almost finished. And then in terms of protein, I'm also going to put in, put in some, wow, voice crack. <clears throat> I'm also going to put in some chicken. I don't, do I have chicken? So I have to go get chicken because I don't have any, but that's going to go in my meal prep container as well for the protein source. So in terms of how many meal prep containers I actually make, um, every time I meal prep, it kind of depends. I try to do as many as possible. 
Um, but there kind of is a happy medium because if you don't eat everything, you waste the food. But if you don't make enough, you're kind of caught always meal prepping. So I kind of uh, just play around with how many I make. Um, I usually make too little than too many. So this time I am coming prepared and cooking as many as I can. Um, just so I don't have to keep doing it over and over again. But uh, in terms of the uh, vegetables, like I said, I have the uh, green beans here. And then I also like to put in uh, broccoli as well. And then in terms of fruit, I like to make uh, smoothies every once in a while just to get in my fruit. So I have different types of frozen uh, mixed veggies or frozen mixed fruit. Um, but for the meal prep containers, I'll also put stuff like peas and carrots that I have here. I'll put that in as well um, for some of the containers. And then I also have cauliflower up here as well. I kind of use a lot of different types of vegetables just so I don't get too sick of it. But then again, guys, it comes down to seasoning. Um, it's all depending on what kind of season you like just to keep things interesting. You're eating a lot of the same things when you're prepping, um, but the seasoning is going to make a big difference just because it can switch up the flavor. So Old Bay seasoning is one of my favorites, guys. Um, this one I put on my eggs and a lot of other things as well. Um, my rice and my chicken and stuff like that. It's mainly for seafood, but I like to put it on all kinds of stuff. And then my other favorite is the Lawry's Seasoned Salt. Uh, I've used this for a long time, and it's actually getting kind of old for me since I've used it so much. So I've switched more to using Old Bay. But both of them are good options. Um, if you guys haven't tried them, I recommend them because they're both very good. This is not a paid advertisement, obviously. I'm just telling you guys my personal preference and what I like. So once the green beans are done, I will put in my next batch of vegetables, which will probably be the cauliflower. And then I might do one more batch of rice, depending on how much I have and how much it fills up my meal prep containers, but we'll see as I go on. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much the setup in terms of prep for the week, even though it's Thursday. So it'll go into the weekend as well, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I do want to start eating more vegetables. Um, I've been doing a lot of rice and chicken, so carbs and proteins, but... Uh, vegetables have a lot of other nutrients in them that are valuable, so I want to start adding those into my uh, meal prep containers as well, just so I get a balanced diet. Well, balanced as it can be in terms of meal prepping, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll keep you updated on the rest of the meal prep as I keep doing it throughout the week and throughout the months. I'll also mention, guys, that I am in the process of working something out with a coach uh, for my competition, which is in June. Uh, the date of the show is actually being announced next week, so I'll keep you guys updated on the day of the show and everything like that. I'm leaning towards just doing one show because I may be starting something else up that's going to take up a lot of my time. I know I'm very vague with a lot of the things I'm saying, but I just don't like to talk about things until they're finalized and everything like that. Um, but I'm also looking at getting a coach. Uh, so in terms of nutrients and counting macros and even... Um, exercise routines and workout routines and stuff like that. Having a coach even when you are very experienced with working out is a good thing when you're prepping for a show. I've never prepped for a show. Um, I know how to work out and count my macros and everything like that, but I've never had to get into competition shape. So having a coach can be very helpful and it's something that I definitely think will help me a lot, especially as I kind of navigate my first competition. Um, so I have someone in mind that I've been talking to, but I'm not going to announce who it is yet until after it actually happens because like I said, I don't like talking about things until they happen. Um, but he is, from what I've seen, a very good coach. He's got a lot of people in very good shape for competitions. But I will keep you guys updated, let you know who that is um, as it's finalized and everything like that. So guys, as I'm meal prepping over there, I'm kind of multitasking as well and editing the video that you guys are watching right now which is kind of a weird concept to think about. But besides that, I'm just kind of eating, editing my video, and then also meal prepping. That takes up a lot of my day. So as I finish up meal prepping, guys, I'm actually gonna close this video out here. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't already, and then share it with a friend if you found value or um, interest in it. Um, but besides that, guys, I'll see you in the next video.